I'm here with the uh, coach uh, on the Briarfield Coaches Corner. I'm here with Fuad Ahmed, our star running back. Fuad, how you doing this week? Yeah. Good, good. Enjoyed watching you this, uh, this year and uh, had some really good games. I'm glad you came out on the show tonight. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your position and uh, what you've been doing this, this year on the, uh, for the football team. Uh, what position do you play? Uh, tailback. And uh, you play defense also, I believe, is that right? Yes. Defensive back. And you're a senior. Yes. Uh, you play defensive back most of your career, right? So this year, you kind of, coach kind of thrust you into the spotlight and the, the, the role of carrying the ball a whole lot. Have you enjoyed this year so far? Yes, sir, it's been great. Uh, last week, you, uh, how many carries did you have in there? I think 14. 14. And uh, you run, how many yards did you have? I think 240, 240 or something. And uh, I would assume coach, coach told us last week that uh, you were leading the whole the, the district and everything in yards. So, uh, you know, you've done a really good job. Anything you want to talk about this year, how, how everything's been going for you, yeah. and what's made you successful? Maybe you want to tell us about that. Well, uh, uh, Coach has been pushing us really hard this year. Mm -hmm. Probably the hardest two days I've ever been through. Right. <laughs> and the line's been, they've been great. Everybody's right. been blocking hard all the way. Mm -hmm. And you've just been playing really hard. Right. And one of the things I've noticed is, uh, you know, not just your line, your receivers, uh, it's not just at the line of scrimmage you guys are controlling. Uh, but you also you get a lot of downfield blocks because you're making a lot of long runs this year. Uh, I know a lot of those long runs are you know uh, can be attributed to your speed and your quickness and your vision, but we've also got some people making some blocks 20 and 30 yards down the field. Yes. So uh, good, you know, your whole team's done a really good job. Yes. Open those holes for you. Uh, after this year, where, where what are your plans after you leave Briarfield? Uh, probably go to LSU. Okay, good. Major in business. Well, great. So uh, you got a so this is your last go round with football. I guess you're you making the most of it, or you, yes. is it going by really fast? It's going by real fast. Too fast. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I know I, I didn't have I knew you could run the ball, but I had no idea that you had this kind of talent. You know, it's been a lot of fun to watch you this year. Uh, seen you play a lot of defensive back the last few years, and you've been just outstanding at, at uh, defensive back. And, uh, and uh, any any time. Uh, you know, somebody goes off for the kind of games you've had. It's a lot of fun to watch. So we appreciate you coming on the show. Anything else you want to add? Uh, that's about it. Thank you. Okay, well, folks, if you don't get a chance, if you haven't had a chance to see uh, Fuad run the ball, I uh, encourage you to come out this Friday and watch him play. Uh, it's real exciting. The whole the old offense is exciting. And I uh, believe Matt Dennis and, uh, and, uh, and you've got several other kids that are, that are really contributing and, and, and kind of keeping the heat off you where you don't have to run it 30 times a game. And, uh, yes. So uh, can, good luck and congratulations so far on a great year. Thank you. Good night. We'll be back in just a moment with uh, Coach Bender. Show here with Coach Ben Durham. Coach, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing excellent. Great. And that was a, a really, really fun game Friday night. Uh, I guess kind of my take on the game was uh, the score really wasn't indicative of the game. Uh, I mean, the second half, we did a great job. We blew them out in the second half, no doubt. But the first half, they were a pretty tough little team. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it was, <laughs> it was kind of nip and tough. Absolutely. You know, sometimes you get into like it's like a war mm -hmm. and you just get caught up in what's going on. And uh, the next thing you know, you look up and it's unbelievable. Right. And I didn't know until uh, watching the film on Sunday, it's 22 to 22 with uh, five minutes left to go in, in the second right. quarter. Right. And then it ended up being 54 to 26, just like that. Yeah. I, I don't know yeah. what happened, but uh, wow, just a lot, of, a lot of scoring. It was an exciting game, uh, to say the least. And, uh, you know, I, I know people that haven't gotten a chance to watch eight man football, uh, it, it's fun. And there's a, uh, one of the things I, I know a lot of people would, uh, maybe that haven't watched it would find this hard to believe, but I, I think I was really proud of our defense in the second half. They put up a few more points, but uh, we had some really key stops, and to me that was the real momentum shift. Yeah, we scored the big, we scored a bunch of points and went off in the second half, but the real key was getting those timely stops. And uh, our defense, I think, I think turned a corner the other night, uh, defending the pass, putting pressure on the quarterback. 
tackling, wrapping up. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, we knew going into the game that Hunter Dykes, number one, was going to be a, uh, probably the best quarterback we've seen and will see right. all year throwing and running. Right. And, uh, you know, looking at trying to stop them, you know, we knew it wasn't going to happen. Right. So it was really to try to slow him down. Mm -hmm. uh, early, I think it's hard to simulate his speed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as we got accustomed to what was going on, uh, we made the right adjustments at halftime, and our kids knew what was going on and uh, yeah. got done. It, it was a it was a, a good game, and uh, let's talk a little bit about now about you know offensively last week. I, I know that's you know, your main focus on the team. Uh, where where do you think we're at now after this game? What did you like? Uh, and, and maybe talk a little about you know some different things that happened last week on the offensive side. You know, Matt, this is probably strange, and uh, Fuad hit it on the head. He said. This is as tough as I've probably ever been on a team. Uh, we scored 82 points, we didn't play well. Right. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, you know our offensive line played well. Uh, we, we didn't block real well as uh, our receivers didn't do what they needed to do. Mm -hmm. Our uh, our fullback uh, missed uh, some key blocks, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we just didn't execute as well as we needed to. Mm -hmm. And you know that's something that uh, going forward uh, we feel like to win the district and to uh, play. Uh, deep into the playoffs, or you know, we've we've got to execute these things to the you know uh, to the team. Right, and uh, you know, you made some calls uh, last week, and or you made some predictions. Uh, you, you said that Neil Brown was going to be a lot different look for them versus Lane Robinson. Not that you were saying Lane wasn't being missed, but just a different look. And, and you were you were right on the head. You know, he hits that hole really quick, and, uh, and he's gone. You know, I mean, just he uh, just hits the seam so fast. Uh, another thing you pointed out was that uh, Matt Dennis was really reading uh, that kind of speed sweep play, for mm -hmm. lack of a better. I know that's not a term you guys use, but that's kind of what it is. It's what it uh, is. He's doing a – he's just made a, a huge turn uh, in the last two or three weeks in terms of the way he's running that play to execute. It. Absolutely. And he scored some points for you last week that keep a lot of pressure off Fuad and keep you more balanced, wouldn't you agree? I agree. You know, uh, everybody always talks about Fuad, but uh, Matt had seven carries for 190 yards. Right. You know, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty good average. That's pretty good, too. <laughs> and when he stretches his legs, I mean, he's deceptive. Absolutely. Uh, because he's a long strider. And, uh, but, I mean, if he gets in the open field, I mean, he, he's one cut and he's gone. I mean, he's really – and he looks like his speed's improved maybe since last I think year. so. I think so. We really worked hard on that uh, coming in because we knew it was going to be much more of a speed game. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think with him, he's also kind of physical. Yeah, it's hard to right. tell that he, you know, but he, he will uh, lower his shoulder and run over you as well. Right. And uh, I guess you know, saying that, let's shift gears and talk a little bit about the defensive side of the ball. Uh, something else, and I, I brought this up a minute ago. I felt like the defense was the difference maker in this game. That was my opinion. Uh, they they kind of stood up. They stood up when they were being tested, when the game was on the line, and that to me was what made the difference. And you run around, and the difference maker in that, I thought was Matt Dennis's physicality. He he did he do some physical stuff, time. and uh, you know I think Fuad you know was was physical. Uh, he actually ended up having to play linebacker, right. uh, you know at the end of the night, and uh, you know we just. Really what was happening early was is we were really messing up an adjustment that we were going to do to their motion. Mm -hmm. And uh, the strength wasn't getting called by our Mike linebacker, so our nose tackle wasn't slanting the way to the motion, and that really hurt us. I mean, it, it, for the lack of a better term, you know, made it so uh, all the running lanes, lanes were wide open. Mm -hmm. You know, when they get that much room, and all they want to do is get a hat on a hat. Right. You know, that's that's it. So we're trying to, to stun a guy over, mm -hmm. uh, so you can't do that. and. Uh, and what we don't, didn't work because we didn't get the call. Right. And uh, I guess another thing I know fit back on the offensive side of the ball, uh, wow, Neil Brown, man, he is really fast. I, I knew he was fast, but I mean, I saw him, at, I went to field level when he broke the long run back towards our concession stand towards mm -hmm. that field. And uh, man, I mean, he, he's really fast. He, he fast. might be just as fast as Fu, yeah. to be real honest with you. I just don't think he had the confidence to do it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I put it. I script the first 10 plays of every game. So, I mean, the, the plays will actually be decided tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll go home after the show and I will write down what 10 plays we are going to run. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I put that uh, that play in there for him early and, we, you know, we bobbled the snap. It was a little high. Uh, just some of the timing things. He yeah. wasn't deep enough. But anyways, uh, you know, we were a little nervous about that, but we got back to it. I wanted to make sure that we got him an opportunity. This is not something that, that was a one-time thing. Right. This is going to happen a lot over the next couple of games, for sure. 
Uh, and once again, I, I was sitting, I went, came down late in the game and sat in the stands. You know, the game got kind of a lull. I was at the press box. I like being up there. I got a better view. Just to kind of get a feel for it at a, at a different level. And uh, you had told us you know, on the show, so I noticed a lot of people weren't watching the show. <laughs> that, uh, what, what's he doing? Kicking out of bounds. Is that okay? And I told people, I said, my, yeah, it's just a strategy. strategy. And it's a great strategy, by the way. Well, it it's, saves you 15 yards. It's, it's an amazing strategy. And a, a 15 yards in a possession, you know, or, it's or, huge. or a touchdown. A point it's a first down in, in eight man football, and, and probably in, uh, with the way it works, is probably a touchdown. Yeah. Because if you, if you stop them, and that, you know, and they're the 35, so they're, they're at the 45, they got a punt. Mm -hmm. They can't give you the ball, or our offense at the 45. If they're at the 50, you know, you're, you're talking about, and I know I say this all the time and it sounds like a broken record, two and a half yards per play to get a first down. Yeah. You're going for it on your side of the 50. Absolutely. You're not going to punt the ball. Right. And with that being said, that 15 yards is huge. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, we haven't faced, uh, besides number one, a very fast, skilled running back yet. Mm -hmm. They're coming. They're coming. But uh, when you kick it to those guys deep, yeah. It's it's fifty fifty that you're going to tie. Right, right. Well, I mean, I guess Franklin had a long return. When you kick it to the wrong guy, he's gone. Yeah, and it, it, you know, you, if you score enough points and you kick enough uh, deep, you know, eventually somebody's going to put one back. And Absolutely, it's just an odds game. I think it's a great strategy, and I commend you for that. Uh, let's talk a little about injuries. Uh, Brad McIntyre was nicked up a little bit. What's where are we at on that? What's the prognosis? He's got a strained knee. Um, he is going to play offensive line this week. He's not going to play linebacker. Fuad is going to play linebacker in his spot. Now that's misleading. You know, uh, they line up and they're going to line up and give us some trips and stuff. So he's going to be back at you know right. safety. But uh, you know, he's going to fill in there when they're in a uh, more of a conventional set, which uh, I don't think is going to be a big deal. He's pretty uh, good against run. But uh, Brad's going to uh, you know try to play one way. Hopefully. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, get ahead and get him out. Okay. And Lane Robertson still? He is going to be uh, done until the first round of the playoffs if we make it. Right. So it's still no no change there. No change. And uh, anyone else kind of ailing or is everyone else seen? Everybody's to okay right now. Right. It's uh, not going to work. Yeah, and I'm glad to hear that Brad's just a strain. No, no, dam no, no, uh, real, no real structural damage to the knee. Outstanding. Well, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about our opponent and uh, what are you game planning for and what are, what are we going to see this week? Well, Rebel Academy's got eight seniors, and um, they, they've, uh, they started out very strong. They are 4-2, uh, and two, just like we are. Mm -hmm. they, now, they've not played the teams that we've played. However, I just don't believe, uh, you know, that they're, there's a lot of pride there in their program. Mm -hmm. And I believe that these seniors are going to come out and they're going to get after us. We're going to have to weather the storm because they're going to come out hooting and hollering. And um, I'm telling you, we've, we've got to quiet them early or it's going to be a four-quarter game. And where are they from? And, and is this district or not district? This is, this is district. This is a huge district game. Right. If we win this game, uh, we've got a great shot to go to the playoffs. Right. I mean, you know, at that point, we would have to really, you know, uh, have some, some issues to, to, to not make it. But uh, they are from Learned, Mississippi, which is just south of Jackson. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's a pretty good jaunt over there, about an hour and a half. But uh, We're driving there. We are driving there. It is there. Mm -hmm. But uh, they've got uh, a nice little field there. It's kind of tight quarters. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a good atmosphere, I believe. And I tell you what, they are physical. Uh, and I think offensively, they're, they're not as good offensively as most of the teams we've seen. But they're a defensive team. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of scares you a little bit, you know, is uh, – We've gotten to some shootouts here, and um, we're going to have to play well defensively uh, early. Like I said, uh, to, to weather that storm and make sure that we uh, we can get some possessions and, and try to run the ball. 